As the state climatologist, what are your goals when it comes to sharing what you learn and know and observe with the public? My one sentence mission statement is to help the state of Texas and its people make the best possible use of weather and climate information. With, with climate and climate change having become somewhat politicized recently because of all the issues related to it, um, I think it's important that, that somebody be a reliable source of information for uh, anybody who, who needs the information and not put a slant on uh, the data or the information or the implication. Perhaps two of the most contentious words going on right now, and that is climate change. At a very basic level, what does that term mean? In our present climate and present understanding, it's essentially referring to how the entire climate system is changing due to um, changes in the composition of the atmosphere primarily. So what's happening now is, is fairly unusual in that, well, it's never happened before in just this way, and it makes it kind of hard to predict what the outcomes are going to be. Good news is we won't be seeing a Harvey every day. Bad news is intense rainfalls increasing by about seven or 10 percent for every degree of global warming we get. So those run-of-the-mill floods are going to become more common and, and devastating floods are expected to become more frequent. We've been through multiple record-breaking summers recently. Can we expect that heat to keep getting higher? You know, if you think forward to the middle of the 21st century, we'll be three degrees above our 20th century average normally. And then the high temperatures, the, the hot summers, will be four or five, maybe six degrees above the 20th century average. So this is the, the summers we've seen in 2022 and 2023 are not the new normal yet. They are the new abnormal and they're on their way to becoming the new normal. Climate change is constantly in the news. What should people be taking away from that widespread coverage? That's tough because uh, you know, every, every news source has its own perspective on what's important, what information needs to be conveyed to the public. Really, the best, the best advice I can give is to take the long view, look at what's happened over a long period of time. What worries you about the future of our planet? Our planet's going to do fine. It's the people on it that are going to have to deal with it. We've also got war, we've got disease, we've got famine. All of these are, are pressing problems. Um, at least climate change is unlike, say, war or disease or famine, something you can actually work out solutions to and implement. You know, people are complicated. Climate is relatively simple. Well, Dr. Nielsen Gammon, thank you so much for joining us today on Texas A&M Today. Thanks a lot. You can watch the full version on our website. That's it for this episode of Texas A&M Today. You can watch all past episodes on pbs.org or our YouTube channel. Gig'em.